Habibina wa Nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. My dear respected brothers and sisters, there's a lot more that I wanted to say. But I'll leave you with this thought. Fundamentally, there's some of us that feel like we are being burnt out. And that this is, we are not saying, we are not seeing change at the pace that we want to. And at the same time, we feel powerless. We feel I'm a regular person. I have no army. I have like no great buying power. There's not much I can do. My dear respected brothers and sisters, one, you do have power. You and I have power. How do I know this? Because Meta, because Twitter, because all these organizations would not work so hard to censor you and I if we had no power. 28 states would not pass anti-BDS legislation if you and I had no power. Allah wants us to be his khalifas on this earth, to be his representatives, his emissaries, his caretakers. There is no one, people who don't believe in an afterlife have no reason to put their neck on the line. Some of them do, and we praise them for it. But you and I are the only ones who can be there to stand up for our brothers and sisters. And I want to tell you it's a trap, a trick of the shaitan when you feel you have no power. It is the collective posting of regular people like you and I that delayed the ground invasion for so long of Gaza. Why did it take like a month? Why did it take so long for the oppressors to decide whether they wanted to do a ground invasion? It's because they knew they did not have the public opinion behind them to do it. And they kept waiting and kept testing and they kept testing. This humanitarian pause, how did it come about? Why did they feel the need to stop? It was because they wanted Americans to shop on Black Friday without being gathered at the Thanksgiving table, being overrun with the images of what they see. They know they're losing the PR war. They know it. The narratives are changing. You all have seen that, I forget the exact number, but I Stand With Palestine or Free Palestine had 1.4 billion views on TikTok as opposed to 1.2 million of I Stand With the Oppressor. That's the difference you and I are making. And I know there are some younger folks who are with us today who are going to school. To you, my younger brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you to be brave. Be bold. Because you are being bullied at a rate of 1,600% higher since before October 7th. And I want to tell you that we as adults, we have your back. We're proud of what you're doing on platforms like TikTok on conversations that you're having at the schoolyard. When your teacher makes a snide comment, don't let it pass, come tell us. We'll fight with you. We'll make sure that your dignity is intact. So keep fighting the good fight, my brothers and sisters, because I know all of us are feeling the struggle in our hearts, but know that the physical struggle is only part of it. All the changes that you've seen have all come from the economic and the political and public opinion that we've exerted. So continue to like, to share, to retweet, whatever your platform is. With that, some practical tips that we can take away. One, dua, silah al-mu'min. We have to be making the sincerest dua of our lives in these moments. As my teacher said, if you're not willing to wake up in tahajjud and make dua for it, you don't really want it. So whatever we feel, we feel. It's not true unless we make tahajjud and we wake up 30 minutes before Fajr, and we make sincere dua for it. The, the, the third thing is to cut out sin. Because all of this, if we find ourselves distancing ourselves from sin, then we should know that Palestine is not being freed by us, but we are being freed by Palestine. And we should awaken ourselves to the reality of this world. That people will never love us, will never accept us the way that we want them to, and that's okay, we don't need their love, we don't need their acceptance, we need respect. And we will demand it by the principles we stand for and the type of people we are. And finally, protest and boycott. I know people say, I don't see the instant effect of this. I feel like it's not doing anything. But historically, if we look at South Africa, if we look at other examples of apartheid, sustained protests and boycotts hypothetically work. They work. So don't give up, don't falter. With that, we conclude the khutbah and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to count us amongst the sincere. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us and forgive us of all our sins. 
We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He free the oppressed all over the world and that He not make us amongst the oppressors. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He take the oppressors to account and that He holds them uh, and that He firmly and swiftly establishes His justice. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He use us as a vehicles of His good in this world and that He does not punish us for being distracted or delinquent in our responsibilities. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that for all those who have passed away, He accepts them as martyrs. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we be reunited with them and our loved ones under His shade on the day in which there is no shade. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He gather us in fair dose as believers and people who love one, each other, one another truly for the sake of Allah without any ounce of animosity towards one another. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He accept from us, that He count us amongst the righteous, that He take us amongst the righteous and He raise us amongst them as well. We ask all the best of this life, the best of the next, and protection from the fire of hell. And we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala use us as a vehicle to help the oppressed, whether they be Muslim or non-Muslim, all throughout the world. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala habibina wa nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Allahumma atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa qina adab al-nar. Subhan rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa aqim as-salaam.